I'm Tracy Grella, and I'm the Global Head of Cybersecurity Insurance at AIG. Um, insurance underwriters basically evaluate, evaluate risk of an organization, it could be of individuals as well, you're probably more familiar with personal lines insurance, but um, the commercial lines area where we write insurance for businesses and those that have cyber attacks and have to respond to those attacks, we evaluate the risk around that and provide them with insurance policies to help them mitigate the loss that they that, that happens as a result of those attacks. So I'll talk to you a lot more about insurance and the great opportunities that there are in insurance as well as in security and cybersecurity field. So I look forward to getting to the fall. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bing. I am a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania and NYU Law School. Um, I currently am the co chair of the government relations practice at Jackson Lewis. Uh, government relations, as you probably know, for lobbying, the same thing. Basically, it helps people get uh, stuff through government or stop government from doing something that they don't want. Uh, before that, I was uh, served for five terms in the state assembly representing the equity side. Uh, and uh, one, of my, one of the things I do in part of my practice is that I, I work for you. I, I help them get things from government and uh, get some money from government in order to uh, support all the programs that uh, the government Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Jason Russ. I'm actually the Chief Information Security Officer for a company called Uber. Right now, that means that I'm responsible for anything that happens that is bad in security. Time lawyers spend in the courtroom? No. 
depends on the lawyer. I, I, I would guess that uh, you'll hear from other lawyers here. Uh, a lot, I, I, I've been in court twice in the past three years. Uh, so like most of the time, you're not in the courtroom. And so when I was a lawyer, I realized, you know, this really isn't necessarily how I want to spend my life. I had to keep track of my life in six minute increments. Uh, so the thing I'm going to suggest is uh, get an internship. You can get an internship at a law firm, like for instance, Jackson Lewis. And uh, you can say, like, I'd like to see what it is. You can work there as a summer intern. You might even get a job for the summer. And then you get to see what the job is like. I will ask questions and I will take questions very shortly. Let me just run through the things, but I will call it. But the key thing is try things out and get internships because you can get an internship at a job that you won't be able to get for like five to ten years out of school, right? Because when you, when you graduate college, the first thing you see is every job that you apply for, they want you to have five to ten years experience. But for an internship, if you have that opportunity, you can get paid internships depending on the college that you choose. Uh, I recommend doing lots of internships. I did an internship at a small company that makes pharmaceuticals named Pfizer. And I was doing technology work for them. And I realized that I didn't want to be the person who fixed the computers. I'd rather be the person working on the core development program there, which is pharmaceuticals. But I'm not very interested in pharmaceuticals. Uh, anyone know the pharmaceutical Pfizer makes? That's the good thing. Uh, anyway, I was not interested in, in pharmaceuticals or doing that, so I said, you know what, maybe Pfizer wasn't a great fit. Uh, when I was in law school, I got an internship with a judge, and I looked at what the judiciary was doing, and I was like, that's a lot of courtroom time, that's a lot of folks. I was working in something called the Court of Claims, and the Court of Claims is a special court that only deals with people who are in prison. So if you are in prison and you are angry about how somebody treated you, you sue the state in the court of claims. So I've been to every maximum security prison in the state of New York, and I did not think that was how I wanted to spend my time. I worked with the Attorney General in the Consumer Frauds Division. In the Consumer Fraud Division, uh, when somebody advertises something on the internet or on TV, and then turns out that they really weren't honest about it, uh, anyone heard of a, a university called Trump University? Yeah, and, and so Trump University, it turns out that they weren't really giving people an education. Uh, so I'm hoping no one here has applied to Trump University. That, that's good because they're being, they got sued by the state of New York for consumer fraud. And, and I'm not speaking about politics, I'm just talking about the facts. And so that's what the Attorney General's office did, and that was kind of interesting to me. Uh, and so I, I practiced as a lawyer, and I actually was looking at government, and I had an opportunity to work with a, a, the, the assembly member for the Upper East Side at the time, Assembly Member Johnson Bing. I got to be his chief of staff, and I really liked the way he did things. I really liked the fact that he was honest with constituents. I really liked that he was thoughtful. I liked that he was a different type of politician. And I said, you know, this is the kind of elected official I'd like to be one day. And so I, I kept doing other things. Uh, I kept doing being a lawyer. I kept also, I kept up my uh, technology skills, uh, which I, I may have mentioned. One of the most amazing things that I think is beautiful that you now have, like the internet was just starting when I was in high school. Uh, when I was in ninth grade, there were a thousand websites on the internet of mine was one of them. And now you can go on the internet, you can start a website for pretty much free and you can build an app overnight that can change the world. Uh, so I think that is something I want you to know. And if you don't know how to fix something or build something, you can do it. Somebody wants to be an engineer. I couldn't 3D print things when I was a kid. You could literally just like 3D print things. That is not a thing that existed in my day. You could like print it out on a piece of paper and then maybe like cut your piece of paper and tape it together. But you can literally 3D print things and then mail order pieces off the internet and like build a robot. I, I went to a high, uh, high school Brock Science. I went there to cut a ribbon on a new robotics lab. The kids replaced me with a robot that they had cut the ribbon. Like, I, I, I am running out of job security in my job because of kids like you. So I think those are some of the things. And so I, I did software development. I worked with the federal government building uh, technology projects to help countries and military forces uh, learn to communicate and work together. I worked on trying to solve hunger in California. 
and then I was running for city council, and I was trying to decide between city council and working at whitehouse.gov, I didn't hear that website ever, and so I, I, I ended up winning my election, uh, and uh, I decided this was what I wanted to do. Now in government, I've been putting a lot of the tools, everything I ever learned in my life, and I'm applying it to how to make the city a better place. And that's something, whether you're a staffer and, and working for an elected official, or an intern for an elected official, you really get a front row seat on. And uh, it, it, I'll tell you, it's actually, all the things I'm talking about are hard work. Being a lawyer is hard work. Being a software developer is a hard work. Uh, working in government is hard work. It's just a question of it. And here's the thing I just want to leave you with. You don't really have to work a day of your life. You can get paid to do something you enjoy. And in government, at least, I can tell you that working with the uh, former assembly member Jonathan Bing, I literally got paid to pick up the phone and help people who were calling. And uh, I see a, another person who, who will be speaking shortly. Uh, and, and literally, now as an elected official, my job is literally I get to help people for a living. And I have a group of people who work with me and we help people from everything from potholes to evictions uh, to helping people get jobs in your name. And I'm just so grateful to be here and I'm happy to sit down and talk to you about whatever you want. And uh, just a, a heads up to Matthew, we're streaming on, uh, it looks like we are no longer streaming. We are no longer streaming <laughs> on uh, oh. Facebook. Blame me. <laughs> so, so yes, can you please share your name and where you went to school? Sure. Where I went to high school or college? <laughs> college. All right. What's up, everybody? What's up? Hi. What's up? We might not be doing Facebook anymore, but somebody got Snapchat in here? I like oh, Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, who needs Facebook? <laughs> All right. I don't know Snapchat. We have a consent. We have a consent? My name is Matthew Washington. I'm Deputy Borough President for Manhattan. And this is like the most giggling table I've ever seen in Canada. Um, my, I went to Alfred University in Western New York. That's where I went to college. I studied anthropology. Uh, and now I'm on the board of trustees at Alfred University. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, anything else, council member, that I was supposed to share? <laughs> no? We have to take a seat. Huh? Matthew, where's the borough president? Where is the borough president? I don't know, man. <laughs> she's, she's doing her thing out in the streets. So, okay. It, it's a running gag that And how did you all find So I'm in the founding class. And for the orientation, they had the Someone told me a lot about it because when I was in the you know, 67th grade, one of the ladies that used to work here in the city, she came to my school and reported it. Oh, good. So, one of the three city wide officials. So, I heard, so it was like, 
So my mom's like, yeah, it's right into it's like in the fifties on the on the west side, so our west side, like a little bit. What other questions do you have? Did you work? 